Hi everyone, I'm Clint Whitley with South Dakota Game Fish and Parks here in Rapid City at the outdoor campus and I'm one of the new naturalists here. And today we've got kind of a family recipe of mine that my family likes to do with pulled pork. Today, however, we're going to try that with mountain lion. Uh, mountain lion is often compared to pork and so we're going to try something a little bit new. Especially with mountain lion season underway, it should be uh, a good way to, to use that meat. First thing we've got to do is thaw your meat out and get it uh, to not room temperature, but thoroughly thawed. We'll take your favorite barbecue pork rub. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, but sprinkle that over top. Get a nice coating on that. Doesn't matter exactly how much. This is just kind of like a, a little dry rub that's going to brine it in a way. Cover it in shrink wrap, saran wrap. And we're going to set that aside for a couple hours to overnight just to let that meat rest. All right, now we've had some time to let the, the meat rest for a couple hours and you can go overnight in your fridge as well, that's just fine. I'd like to then just take that, maybe dust off some of that extra seasoning. We're going to place that in our crock pot. Now with any wild game, moisture is often the issue, and so letting that rest before and after you cook is, is helpful to try and get that moisture in there. And then we're also going to go through a slow cooking method of low and slow uh, to, to help hold that moisture in. And now, I'm not drinking a Dr. Pepper, but we're going to add all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. So that's kind of the, the little secret to this recipe that, that makes this kind of unique. Uh, so we'll just add in a whole 20 ounce thing of Dr. Pepper or uh, about up to say half of the, the roast or whatever it is. And another couple little safety things we need to pay attention to is that like bears, mountain lions often carry uh, trichinosis and that can be kind of a nasty, nasty little thing. So we really want to make sure we cook this all the way through uh, to make sure that internal temperature is at least 165 degrees. Uh, but we've got that in, in the crock pot. We're going to put it on low and leave it there for about six hours. All right, we are at about six hours right now of cook time on low. And so we're going to pull this guy out. We don't need the liquid necessarily, the broth or the Dr. Pepper that was in there. Uh, but if we needed a little juice, you can add a little bit later. Uh, also, you could do this with just about any sort of big game meat. I've done this with uh, shank, antelope shanks or deer shanks. It works out really well to, to get some shredded meat and then uh, pull it apart. We'll take some forks and get this thing tore apart. We'll make some sandwiches out of it. And we will just shred the meat with some forks. A little bit of that fat started to come off of the underside top side of the back strap. We can just pull that aside. So I don't know if it's the same as pork fat. Probably not quite as tasty. So we're going to get that all shredded down to a nice pulled pork style shredding before we get it on the sandwich. All right, our next step after getting this all shredded is to uh, get some barbecue sauce on it. So it doesn't matter what kind of barbecue sauce, but just your favorite no real amount to this the thing is we want that thoroughly coated and because even though we did what we could to uh, control the moisture it's still going to be kind of dry so another method we were talking about would be good is maybe smoking it and trying to hold in some of that moisture so whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is how much ever you want to uh to get that quote quote coated. If you want a lot of it, a little bit of it, whatever. So we got our barbecue sauce on all that. We're going to take our bun and load it up. Now the thing that will top this sandwich off is a little bit more than just some pulled lion, I guess we could call it. Nice heaping meat, a pile of meat, some coleslaw, 
that we made this morning. FYI, after a while, it's not as fresh. And we'll add a couple of pickles. And right there, we got a mountain lion sandwich. Looks pretty good. We'll see what it tastes like. All right, after a couple of bites, I can say that it's pretty good. And I think I would do this again for sure. Good use of some mountain lion meat that uh, uh, is often kind of discarded, not a, com a popular piece of meat. So I would try this absolutely again. So thanks for, for watching Cooking with Clint. I'll give you some more episodes in the future.